The reason we have the pen mesothelium and pleural program is because chemotherapy is the treatment. Beyond that, everything else for mesothelioma would be considered investigational. And surgery is still considered investigational. So if somebody comes to the emergency room and they have appendicitis, then they're going to be told you can have surgery or there's nothing else. That's it. You can have surgery. There's no other option. If someone has lung cancer, for instance, an early stage lung cancer, then I would be able to tell them we know for an early stage lung cancer, surgery is still established as the best treatment. There's other options. There's other things you can do. But right now, surgery is the standard treatment. For mesothelioma, that, that type of status, that type of established role does not exist. And the reason is, uh, as opposed to, if you have a lung cancer and it's an early stage lung cancer and it's sitting here in this upper lobe of the left lung over here, if that hasn't spread anywhere, and you take out this lobe of the lung, you can cure someone with surgery. With mesothelioma, because as I said, every square inch, and this is, it's hard for people to understand, it's a different cancer, uh, the way we think about it. Everyone thinks about a cancer like that, a little lump sitting in the middle of something surrounded by normal tissue. Mesothelioma, that's not the case. All pleural cancers, every square inch of the chest cavity between all the lobes of the lung, all along the diaphragm, the mediastinum, along the heart, the esophagus, the, all the blood vessels, the spine, all those things that we talked about, every square inch of that is essentially contaminated or involved with the cancer. So the best you can do surgically is to remove that cancer so that you can't see any and you can't feel any but we know that there is still going to be microscopic or invisible disease remaining even after the most aggressive surgical operation. So when we talk about doing surgery for mesothelioma, it involves combining surgery with other treatments. And those other treatments are essentially always going to involve the standard chemotherapy. And then depending on where you are, the additional treatments that we'll use with the MESA, with the surgery, vary. So some places will do radiation, and typically to do radiation to treat the whole chest cavity, you have to remove the entire lung. And what I would say is that there is a major difference in quality of life and safety, frankly, between having a lung and not having a lung. When you don't have a lung, you become very fragile. So you can take out part of someone's lung or you can sort of decrease the mechanical ability of the chest cavity by maybe compromising the diaphragm. But you can go up a flight of stairs, you'll be able to do the things that you would normally do in your life and probably not notice too much of a difference unless you're exerting yourself significantly. But if you had take out an entire lung, You'll never really be able to go up a flight of stairs again without thinking, you know, I don't have my lung anymore. So the two approaches surgically are one to take out the entire lung. It's a big operation called an extra pleural pneumonectomy. You take out that sac around the heart, the pericardium, the diaphragm, the whole lining of the chest cavity with the whole lung with it. And that whole thing comes out. And then when that procedure is done, either before the patient will get chemotherapy or afterwards or sometimes both, depending on the protocol, and then they'll have radiation to the whole chest cavity.